a three ingredient pasta that's made in the air fryer. Hey guys, I'm Myra from Low Carb Love and today we are making a pasta that's gluten free and low carb. Pasta is one of those tricky things when you're living a low carb lifestyle, but we've come a long way. There are so many different substitutes and this is one of them. So to get started on our pasta, the first thing we're gonna do is separate our eggs. So all we need are the yolks. I'm just gonna do it old school here. Let me know if you guys have a different method <laughs> to get the yolks separated from the egg whites. Okay, we're gonna put our little yolks here to the side and we're gonna do this process for all four eggs. Okay, now for our next step, we're gonna go ahead and melt our mozzarella. We're just gonna do about 30 second increments and I'll show you what the consistency should look like. Okay, so this is the consistency we're looking for. This is one minute, okay? So for our three ingredient pasta, we have our cheese, we have our egg yolks, and a little xanthan gum. We're gonna go ahead and sprinkle that right over, add in our egg yolks, and let's mix it up. And these three ingredients are gonna transform into our pasta, so. And since it's, everything is nice, warm room temperature, it's very easy to mix it together. And the reason why you want room temperature eggs is because if they're too cold with the heat from the cheese, it will actually scramble the eggs. So you don't want scrambled eggs here, guys. And then the dough just starts coming together. So now that it's mixed, the next step is to let it set in the fridge. So I'm just gonna put some clear wrap over it. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and let this set for about an hour in the fridge, and I'm gonna show you the consistency this will turn out. Okay, so our pasta dough was sitting in the fridge for about an hour. Now we are laying it over a parchment paper. To make our life easier, we're placing a parchment paper right over it, and we have our rolling pin. So we're gonna go ahead and roll this out, and we're gonna get it as thin as possible, and I'm gonna show you how thick it should be just so you get the perfect consistency. Okay, and now this is the best that I was able to get it. I was trying to go for a rectangle, but we ended in a heart. This is a heart shape. So we're gonna go ahead and cut our pasta. Now I'm going more for like a fettuccine, you know, fettuccine, width and thickness, but if you want it super thin or a little thicker, I mean, at this, you know, personal preference, you're gonna eat it. So let's go ahead and start. Now you can actually cut all the edges if you wanna just make it nice and neat. I'm gonna try to do that just so we have that nice sharp edge. I made my pasta really thin, but you can roll yours out a little thicker. It might make it a little easier to cut. Sometimes when it's rolled out too thin, it kind of gets stuck to your little um, pizza cutter or your knife. So it's just a little more delicate, but I also do feel that the thinner it is, the more it resembles pasta, so. Now the best way to cook your noodles is either baking them, air frying them, or even boiling them. The best texture for me has been in the air fryer, so that's what we're doing. Okay, so our noodles are done. I left them an extra couple minutes, but they're gonna be delicious. So we're gonna go ahead and plate them at our sauce. And I'm gonna show you how delicious this turns out. So it resembles pasta so much more, perfect texture, and we're going right in. Cheers. Mmm. Perfect bite. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Okay, so in terms of the taste and texture, because I know you guys are probably wondering, so it does not taste cheesy at all, even though cheese is the main ingredient. 
Um, I feel like the pasta and the noodle really absorbs the flavor of the meat sauce really, really well. Okay, now, and in terms of like the texture, I feel like it has a perfect bite, resembles pasta really, really well. I think if you are a fan of pasta and you really miss it and you're always, you know, wanting to try new alternatives, this is gonna be perfect. Whether it's a white sauce or a red sauce, you're gonna be satisfied. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and leave the recipe in the description below. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button and don't forget to share this recipe along with the channel with friends and family that are living a low carb lifestyle or that you know would just absolutely love a low carb, healthier alternative to regular pasta. Guys, thanks so much for being here. I love you and I will see you on my next video. Mwah.